Hi, it's November the 17th, Tuesday, 33rd week of Ordinary Time. And a week away and a day or two from Thanksgiving 2020. Today, uh, our saint of the day is Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. And this religious woman um, has a, a, a good story. Uh, I think of the word Hungary and it's not with an E, it's with an A. She's from Hungary, but it's interesting that she she served a lot of people who were hungry. And she also served a lot of people who were poor and sick. And uh, today we'll explore that. But let's first uh, pray for her intercession and pray with the church. Let us pray, O oh God, who called your handmaid, Elizabeth, to seek you before all else. Grant that serving you through her example of intercession with a pure and humble heart. May we come at last to your eternal glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now I'll proclaim the gospel of the day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, and we're in Luke 19. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, because he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed the sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, Come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. He came down quickly and received him with joy. But when they saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at a house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, uh, in, in sharing these meditations, uh, we have uh, Chris Milano, the Paula Seminarian of our parish. And so we're going to take a look at this. And, uh, you know, first my first impression was Jer standing around Jericho is a good place to be because... Zacchaeus has a big conversion, and his heart is lifted free. And also Bartimaeus, if you remember, he was another story of a guy standing around Jericho on the back end of town, and his life gets uh, changed also. So first thing I thought of is the place where it happened, this gospel, that Jericho is a good place to, <laughs> to be in the Bible. And remember Jericho, the, uh, the walls came tumbling down because Joshua That's right, yeah. was willing to be faithful to God and, and do what God asked. And Joshua and the name Jesus are very close, um, Yeshua and Joshua. And, but Jesus is the new Joshua. And he's doing more than just opening up Israel again, like Joshua did. Jesus opening up the whole kingdom of heaven. And so... What about this Zacchaeus guy and what happens here? Yeah, Zacchaeus is a very interesting character f for me, in particular because of today's feast day. Um, Zacchaeus is a he's a rich guy, but he's spiritually hungry. So he climbs up the tree just you know to, he does what he can to go in and see. Mm -hmm. He ca it's a very strong parallel for me to the feast the the, the saint of the day who is Saint Elizabeth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rich person, rich person. Exactly, yeah. So Zacchaeus is like Elizabeth, who is who is spiritually trying to feed and looking out for people who um who 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 are spiritually hungry. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh and and uh how, you come from Hawaii, don't that's, you? Yeah, that's right. Um, so do they know about St. Elizabeth of Hungary, a Hungarian saint in Hawaii? I heard they do. Yeah, it's actually a pretty interesting story. Even though we are on the opposite side of the world, yeah. um, in Hawaii we, we, we have St. Damien and St. Marianne. They both ministered to those who are living with Hansen's disease or leprosy. And so did um, St. Elizabeth of Hungary. She opened up hospitals, mm -hmm. um, and one of the people that she ministered to were, were people who were living with leprosy. Yeah. 
That's a something goes all the way back to the gospel where mm -hmm. Jesus stopped for the lepers and there still were lepers in the time of Francis of Assisi and then Elizabeth of Hungary and even up to the time of of Damien mm -hmm. out in Hawaii. So and uh, they're they're really the castaways, aren't they, of society? That's right. Yeah, I mean because because of the deformities in, in their face and people are afraid of them. We didn't we didn't know about their disease. But they were, no. they were, people were afraid of them. But Elizabeth and the two saints from Hawaii, they were drawn to them because of their faith. Like They didn't cast them away like the rest of society did. But because they were answering their vocational call to serve, it was very strong for them that it was very clear. That is what they're called to do. I was taking a line out of the gospel then with uh, Luke 19. Uh, Come down quickly from that tree. I... It's something my mother said many times to me. Uh, we had a huge willow tree in the backyard. And we would go way too high up in that tree. Uh, John, come down quickly, you know. <laughs> in this gospel, Jesus says, come down quickly from that sycamore tree. Not because Jesus was afraid he was going to fall off. But uh, I want to meet you. Mm -hmm. I want to meet you. And it, and it says Zacchaeus came down quickly and received him with joy. Uh, wow, that's great. Yeah, it's, you know, that, that touches my heart because to know that God is that eager, you know, come down quickly. I, you know, it's like, wow, I, of course I'm going to come down. I'm going to respond very quickly to that. Yeah. And the church keeps on extending invitations to the Lord mm -hmm. where we, we are become the sign now of inviting people in. And, uh, when I hear confessions every Friday out in the parking lot, I, We've been getting some people from other parishes. They hear about this uh, easy opportunity to go to confession. And so they pull in, you know, and I hear their confession. And I think uh, they're, they're so relieved when they get a chance to go to confession because they were afraid to go into a reconciliation mm -hmm. room yeah. or to sit face to face to a priest. But um, when you're in this other situation, it, um, it's a lot safer. So, uh, so Zacchaeus... Uh, he gets his heart mended, doesn't he? That's right. Yeah. He felt he probably had a lot of sins for cheating as a tax collector. Yeah. yeah but once he realized the love of the Lord and, the, and, and he gave it all away. Yeah. And, and Elizabeth doesn't have a, the same kind of a testimony. She's not living a bad life and despised by mm -hmm. people and then come over. She was always pretty a good person. But she decides that this is how she's she's going to lavish her her heart for the needs of others and for the glory of God. And so today she's on the calendar, and Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, uh, pray for us.